In today's video, we're going to take a look at XVI again. Now, the last time I looked at this, we ended up just seeing a little bit of a bounce, but we weren't able to clear resistance and the trade was a bust because we ended up breaking below that area that I was originally looking at for the buy side. But it did set up again and I'm going to show you the reasons why I liked it much better this time around and what we need to see next if it is indeed going to play out. Now, one of the things that we have here is the fact that we have timing for a low. Okay, now I ran the histogram on the uh, dynamic tra trader program from the last high to project when the next possible low might show up. And we're in that time window right here, right now. And beyond that, we are at some of the lower support decisions that come from, you know, multiple swings. There's one retracement of one of the swings that shows up here besides projections of some of these prior um, swings down that tend to be similar. And the uh, support came in anywhere from 83.74 to 84.16. Um, actually, we took out the high end of that support. And um, we're finally starting to see buy triggers again. So this is what really got me more interested in the setup though. On a 78 minute chart, okay, and I use 78 because it divides evenly into the trading day. I do not use overnight data in this case. And um, I found something interesting on this chart, and it was that many of these swings in time were similar to other swings. So here was a 25 bar decline here, this was a 24 bar decline here, this was 23, this was 26, and then we just made the low 24 bars down. So there was time symmetry. So you will often see changes in trend when there is time symmetry. So we ended up again hitting and holding the support. There are a couple of other uh, or extra price relationships that you can see on the lower time frame chart. But we hit, we held um, on some of the lower time frame charts. We did trigger entries and this is what you need to see now. You need to rally for more than these prior rally swings, okay? If we do that, then we're gonna be looking for a 1272 extension of the swing into that zone as our target. But this is what you have to use to help you manage the trade because if it has problems getting through this resistance or starts giving you sell triggers before it gets through this resistance, you're probably gonna to want to, you know, ratchet up your stop or just ditch, ditch the trade. So that's what I'm looking at in um, XBI, potential upside target off of this swing, comes in at 90.73. I'm wrong if it takes out the support.